Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Derek with Wise Wizard Games and we're here to live stream Hero Realms Dungeons Digital. I'm so excited. We just got Alchemist, uh, the build up. I've been talking with Joel. Uh, it's gonna be very exciting because we're gonna show it off today. Um, to my knowledge, I do not think this is available for other players to play yet. It's coming. Uh, so it's gonna be really exciting to be able to show this off. Now, please know that anything you're seeing is still in working prototype. Like we're still working on bugs. We're still working the kinks out of everything and trying to make sure there could be some weird interactions with uh, just the way the app works. So bear with us, but it is awesome. We've got the Hero Realms Dungeons market deck in, in here. We have the Barbarian versus the Alchemist. If you're here and you want to challenge me, you can send a challenge to Dr. Funk 27. I will put that in the uh, chat right now. Joel, yep, he says just devs only. So now I feel really uh, privileged and honored to be able to play with uh, the Alchemist. We are live on Kickstarter. We have funded day one. Uh, absolutely phenomenal show so far. We're really excited about where it's going. And I'm gonna be doing these live streams more often while we are live on Kickstarter. I think it's gonna be a really fun time to hang out, chat about Hero Realms, talk about the cards. Of course, we'll be putting out updates on the Kickstarter about um, the content you'll be seeing, right? Uh, right now, I've got level, I think it's a level 12 uh, Barbarian and a level 12 uh, Alchemist. Um, but, it, you know, we also can just do the original characters as well. If you feel like sending a challenge, it doesn't matter who you pick. The more, the most important part is that you're here and you're ready to hang out and watch Hero Realms Digital. So thank you so much for joining us. If you're backing the Kickstarter, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. Um, you know, Rob and Darwin and, and the team have put a ton of work, uh, and Debbie have put a ton of work into this, uh, game. And, uh, there are people who are putting a ton of work into the development side as well, especially in the app. So thank you to Joel. Um, there's just a lot of other people that I could mention, but they've put a lot of work into this. So thanks for being here. All right. What up, Barry? Good to see you. Double dubs. JB, all right, daily, all right, we got some good people up in here. Thank you so much, and if you're a new, uh, new viewer, welcome. Go ahead and give us a subscribe. We stream every Wednesday and Saturday, uh, but we'll be doing these streams more often, of course. Uh, look, look at this guy back here. Woohoo! Yeah, I've got a physical prototype of this. I'll be live streaming the physical version. Um, I believe very soon. I don't have an exact date yet, but uh, physical tabletop version live stream coming to you. All right, without further ado, let's get into this. Dumbledore, you're taking a seat. You're taking a seat here. Where's my character classes? Oh, did I not create one? It's because I switched over to prod. Uh, now you guys get to watch me do my dev powers at work here. Oh, I thought I, it's, I had this all ready to go. I'm so sad. I had it all ready, and then I had to re do things. So now you get to watch me go through. You know what? This is great, actually. You're going to get to watch me go through leveling up this character. So uh, here are some of the abilities you'll see in, in the Alchemist's um, ability tree and, and things like that, and their upgrades for their cards. So we are going to, obviously, that gets upgraded there. And then here is the better um upgrade there i don't want to spend too much time on these upgrades but of course i do want you to kind of see what's happening here um we are gonna basically because i'm going up to level 12 i'll be able to get most if not all of these updates so it just depends on how i want to do this so we'll just go left to right on the health we'll have to do a little choice here oh fool's, fool's gold now this is an this is an ability that is really awesome really fun to be able to give your opponent a basically somewhat trash card um, and fill up their deck. I like that a lot. We're here with that. Um, with the Alchemist, there are a couple different builds. There are builds that give you a lot of combat or health or things like that based on the as many factions that you play. Uh, but the Alchemist build that I really like is the ability to sacrifice cards to get cards faster. So that is the build that I'm going to do here with this card tree. So specifically, uh, I can sacrifice a card to acquire a card that costs up to three to the top of my deck. So that is that is what we're gonna roll with there. 
yeah and again all the art and all, everything is not final um again this is a very alpha beta version of the app so um you know we're doing the best we can to make sure it's all ready to go and thank you so much to all of our playtesters, by the way. And let me go ahead and make a shout out here. If you feel like playtesting this, you can right now on our web store, you can join the Hero Realms Digital Legends backers uh, and you can get access right now to playtest all of this new content that will not be available for quite some time. And you can get in, you can give us feedback, you can really be on the ground floor of the development uh, in the play testing of a lot of this right now. And you can do that literally right now as I'm speaking. And I can even put that, uh, in the chat. Let's see if, how well I can, um, multitask here. Probably not very well. Uh, game store to the hero realm store. Boom. Do this, drop it in the chat. There you go. Hey, what is up young Kaiju? First time chat, love it. Thank you so much. We really love both the new and returning viewers. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna go with Bottled Tempest here, okay? I really like draw. Um, long time magic player, you know, drawing your cards from your deck seems to be just a little bit okay. Just a little bit. I'm gonna go with the middle one here on the rapid transmogrification, um, essentially allowing me to sacrifice a card to get a five or higher. Uh, are up to five higher to the de top of my deck. So we're gonna go with that. And then we've got uh, we've got a really cool upgrade here. Um, you know, the Spectrum Spectacles just look absolutely ridiculous to me. Uh, I love the fact that it wants to play, you know, multi-faction. So we're gonna roll with that just because I think it looks cool. And then here's the card tree. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go on the right side here going for damage and then i'll need to do a couple more here again going with draw and then we're gonna go let's see middle or far right I, I rarely go extremes on these characters oftentimes i like to play the middle because i feel like the middle ground is pretty good but for this specific build i'm gonna go with the damage all right here we go we've got some uh some challenges here. Uh, Joel, you were the first in uh, on the challenge, so we're gonna roll with you. Alchemist v. Alchemist. Here we go. <laughs> you're gonna need more <laughs> character slots. I think you're right, Barry. I think you are correct. Downloading those assets. Boom, let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we're gonna play this out. I can choose, so basically uh, right here, the Philosopher Stone, which comes in the Alchemist base deck, uh, is going to let me choose a faction. So it's wild, and that is wild. <laughs> uh, so it's honestly not gonna matter right now. I don't have any factions in my hand. Uh, but we're going to go with Rattling Welcome because I think that card is crazy good. Uh, and let's go. Here we go. I'm going to try to keep up with the chat here. Uh, so feel free to leave comments and I'll answer questions as long as you, you're you here hanging out with us. Um, I, I got to go back just a little bit because I was preoccupied with building my Alchemist out. So just give me one second to catch up here. Double dubs, thank you so much. The Kickstarter is off to a great start. We are we are super stoked uh, for how, how it's going so far. Uh, let's go explore. I hear that drawing and discarding filtering is pretty good. And then we're going to go with double explore in one turn. Oh, and a house always wins to trigger the rattling welcome. Why not? Do I want to give this to my opponent? I don't think I want to give it to them right now. Maybe I do. Hmm. You know what, Joel? I'm feeling really nice. You can have my fool's gold. You're welcome. There's a gift for you, my friend.
Barry, thank you so much for the assist on that uh, on the digital app. Appreciate that. Borker, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. We are doing a, uh, you know, we're we're working hard, and we're doing uh, doing a great job at it right now. So pretty excited about it. Yeah, JB, getting in on the beta is huge, and it's so cool to be able to get in on this access. And if you've been following along over the last couple of months, we've actually already made changes in the app based on feedback we're getting from uh, from players in our own design and development team on, hey, this card's too strong, it needs to be brought down. Um, it's It's been really phenomenal to be able to um, have that ability. So, uh, wow, I've got some pretty good options here. Let's see, I wanna try to purchase Kalabok this turn. So I've already got one, two, yeah. So I don't need the Philosopher's Stone right now. I'm gonna go here, here, here. Let's make it blue. Uh, I'm gonna acquire a card at the top of my deck and we're gonna grab Kalabok. Ooh, that just feels disgusting to pull that off. I love it. Choose a faction and add it to two cards you have until in a turn plus one for each faction. So I'm gonna choose uh, this one right here. There we go. Doing some alchemy things, getting some damage in. Let's go. I love the play style of the Alchemist. And that's one of the cool things that players are gonna realize that Hero Realms Dungeon plays so much differently than the base game Hero Realms. Like if you think back to Star Realms, when Frontiers and Colony Wars were released, like they pretty, they, they, I would say significantly changed the landscape of that game. And that's the same for Dungeons. Dungeons is going to take a game that you might already love and just ramp it up to, it's so much fun. Uh, JB, the two coin skill is right here again. So choose a faction. Oh, I'll show it on my turn so it doesn't get, um, so it doesn't go down. <laughs> yeah, be careful with the double dubs. We got a huge uh, winter weather advisory where we're at right now. So we got that coming. Our kid is going to be home from school tomorrow doing e-learning. Uh, so here's the two the two coin skill. Choose a faction um, and basically add it to two cards you have. Um, and then you're going to get a combat for each card you have of that faction. So, you know, it's pretty nice. Seems decent. What do I want to do? I think I want to get rid of the dagger. Now, now what I need to do is get some coaling into my hand. Sacrifice a card from hands. Let's do this. Sacrifice a card in my hands. Grab Amarant. Then I'm going to grab explosives. And we are going to attack. So I went ahead and I used my one-time ability there to grab uh, Amaranth the Unfading, just because I want I really need to get into some sacrificing uh, cards. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification, Barry. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, obviously, Barry, you've been playing Dungeons um, regularly. So, so I mean, you're, of course, uh, experienced to, to say that. And I know you play Base Hero Realms a lot as well. So, absolutely agree. It's going to blow the roof off things. And uh, for, the, for, for the better, uh, it's so much fun. I mean, you can do rat, rat tribal now. You could make a deck of just rat cards. And I mean, that that's, that's what, who doesn't need that, right? I mean, honestly, that's all I need. Just give me the ability to make a rat tribal deck and I'm, I'm in, you can have all my money.
Here's your fool's gold back. Uh, let's grab some more sacrifice and let's activate this choosing red. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. <laughs> Borger, I mean, see, you, you understand, you get it, you know? We've even got a champion that is a rat. It's Screet. I mean, what better name for a Screet than, or what better name for a, a rat than Screet? I, I'm kind of hoping Screet comes up in a game uh, while we're streaming so everybody can see how awesome it is. <laughs> yeah, we each have Fool's Gold together. Uh... I also just want to say thank you to everybody who's watching right now. And I mean, even if you're not watching this live and you're watching this at some point, but thanks for, for backing Hero Realms Dungeons. Like, you know, without without your support, it wouldn't be where it is right now and it wouldn't be trending as well as it is. And um, honestly, the trajectory that we're on right now, we're going to get some really sick stretch goals unlocked. So uh, everybody should be pumped about that. Hey, yo. Um, look here. I don't think this is going to matter right now, but we'll pick Philosopher's Stone. Let's grab Minstrel's Melody. How about some bard cards? Let's go. It's a pretty nice swing of a card. Demonic Rage, we'll grab that one too. Actually, let's undo this, and we're going to get rid of that right now. There we go. I don't like you having. That's such a good card. Draw one, opponent discards a card. That's so good. <laughs> Barry's trying to get commissions. <laughs> Oh, that's so great. Well, you know, Borker, it sounds like you might have made up your mind already, but I, I will just point out the fact that you'll be able to play this beta for quite some time. Um, as, as You know, at next 30 days, for sure, as we get through the Kickstarter, and then even even more than that, you know, you'll, you'll be able to have a lot of time to, to give feedback. So, you know, it's it's a pretty good deal. Um, let's see here. So fool's gold, you know, of course, get rid of that. Um, I'm going to sacrifice the dagger. We're going to go with the money. Check this out. Dragged below. Freaking love the art on that card. That's mine to the bottom. We're going to do this. We'll go red. Activate this, choosing this and this, choosing red. It's another good one, Pit Trap. Solid card. <laughs> Barry, I love it. <laughs> well, Barry, we'll get to your, to your uh, challenge next after Joel here, so um get ready yeah and that here's the question do you want me do you want me to play barbarian or alchemist i will leave that decision up to you uh you tell me what you want to play against uh, i'm assuming alchemist probably because you haven't played against alchemist yet um so you just tell me mm -hmm. Young Kaiju, that's awesome. Uh, being able to share. I, I also have shared Hero Realms with family and friends, and, and they love it. Absolutely. I've even got them hooked on the app as well. Hey, what is up, Slippy Fist? First time chat. YOLO. Uh, what do I want to get rid of here? Fra, let's go. Let's 
go with House Always Wins this time. This is kind of a tough decision I want to want to get rid of right now, though. Um, I like Philosopher's Stone for the wild, but if I play, well, there's another one. It's fine. If I have two or more of the same cards, the same faction, draw a card. Hold on. Actually, we're, I think we're going to get rid of, let's do this first. I think I'm going to get rid of the ruby. No, I don't think I'll get rid of anything. Pit Trap. You have affordable cards. I know I do, but I don't really want a second copy of this. So I will pass. Thank you, app. <laughs> That's a good point, Barry. That's a good point. Ooh, Den Mother's out. I'll show it when my turn comes up. All right, we'll go level one, level one. I like it. All right, let's look at Din Mother Morga. Solid. Good card. All right, let's draw. Ooh, this can be a good hand. Uh, draw again. And we're going to play Kalabak. And we're going to drag below. Then we're going to play that to sacrifice this gold. We are going to deal damage to this. Activate this, choosing red. Woo, buddy. Hold on a second. So if I prepare champions, it gives me another three damage. This gives me another two with a draw one, so I'm at five. This gives me seven. Uh, let's do it. There it is. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to happen. Joel, what a great game. Holy cow. Woo. I was like trying to do the math. I'm like, you know what? If this works, it works. We're just going to go with it. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was fun. Yeah, Borker, it works on mobile, um, Steam, iPad, Android, all the all the good stuff. All right. Uh, Zimbu, then Daily. Daily, stick around. We're going to get to your game. You want to go against my level 12? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, let me see. I think I'll have to make another uh, Alchemist here, level 1 Alchemist. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with this. There we go. Downloading assets. Uh, you know what? It probably would have dropped it if he did the down level. So if if you make the challenge to down level, then I, I didn't check the challenge to see if it was down level. But yes, typically it will down level if if you select that as your challenge. But it's fine. I guess I shouldn't have assumed. um borker great question about a roadmap i'm gonna leave that question to joel joel works a lot more on this game on the digital side than i do so uh if anybody will know that will be joel like even the the ability here for level one like to sacrifice a card from hand is so so helpful So for those of you who are watching, you've not seen the Barbarian in play. Um, I will show that off against Daily, but you'll see uh, Zembu Berry playing it here. 
So uh, it's got a lot of really fun mechanics centered around uh, going berserk and causing yourself to go berserk, which is uh, pretty sweet. It's it's a really fun mechanic, and it plays a lot differently than fighter. It's uh, honestly a lot more aggressive, especially if you give yourself too much damage um, as you stay berserked, because you'll have the you'll have the opportunity to go back and forth between calming down and going berserk. So. It's pretty it's pretty cool so my goal is going to be limiting the amount of cards like this <laughs> that you can get because i do not want you healing that will be bad for me either that or i just need to aggro you first um and you know what maybe i can just beat you with that we'll see we shall try Barry, I'm not going to let you have any more heals. You got your two free ones. And for those of you who have not seen some of the new abilities here in um, dungeons, you'll notice there are these uh, abilities that say when acquired, it goes to the bottom of your deck now. So there are cards that will go to the bottom of your deck, cards that go to the top of your deck. Um, so it's it's really great. It doesn't really matter what I make those. Uh, because we're going to go here. <laughs> Stay berserked. Keep taking that damage. So here's some of the cards I'm talking about. So basically, if you're Berserk, you you know, there's going to be these conditional cards that come up that you need to meet the condition of, right? So if you're not Berserk, then you won't get that additional benefit from playing that card. So. Hit me pretty darn hard right now, bud. Pretty darn hard. Uh, Let's roll with red. And we're going to, that's from hand. There, we'll grab Pester. Yeah, the, the higher levels on the Berserk me uh, mechanic are really strong. I just realized I think I have the audio turned off. <laughs> A lot of times I play this without the audio and I just realized the audio was off, but it's no big deal. I'll turn it on for tomorrow's stream. The music is great though. I should say that's what, what I noticed. I'm like, Oh, I don't think the music is playing in the background. Uh, what do I want here? I want, I don't think I'm going to be able to destroy inquisitor right now. So I'll grab treasure hunt. Yeah, Borker, thanks for coming by. And like I said, we'll be doing this more often. Wednesdays, we I you know I stream every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, and as the this campaign is live, we'll be doing this as well. So um, if you're not subscribed, get that little notification button when we go live, and you'll be able to to hang out. Appreciate the uh, your time. I might be able to just turn the music on on my turn. I have to discard a card. Let's discard the Ruby. Let me go to settings. There we go. Volume. Don't want it to be too too loud. Now you should hear it. It's pretty good music.
probably not going to live through this next turn. I'm definitely in trouble, Barry. <laughs> I think you're right. Uh, I think I am in trouble. There you go. Yep, Double Dubs does stream on Wednesdays. Usually it goes me and then Double Dubs. Yeah, no worries, Daily. Yeah, we'll get you back in the list. So if um, just leave a comment when you come back. Uh, Joel, if you want to send another um, challenge or if there's anybody else here that wants to send a challenge, go ahead and do that. Uh, and then when Daily gets back here, we'll we'll jump in with with their game. So, yeah, I sacked a gold. I should have used Dissolve to sacrifice another one, but I wanted to activate my uh, reflection. Off stalking? Well, yeah. I it's only been out there like one or two turns. Hasn't been out there very long. And this is where I die. <laughs> it's just so aggressive. The barbarian is so so quick. It's a tough one. Lee the Fry, yo, what up? All right, Lee the Fry, I'm gonna come at you with my level one barbarian right now. Oh, you're level five. Sorry, we're gonna have to just do level ones. Uh, that did get you to 10 wins. <laughs> That's right, Barry. <laughs> that's awesome. No, that's great. No, that's, that's fun. I mean, we all have a good time playing. I just recently started streaming about, I don't know, five, six months ago. Uh, streaming Hero Realms for for uh, Wise Wizard, but it's been really fun to get to know uh, people in the community. And of course, Leela Fry comes at me with the cleric because she knows that I hate playing against the cleric. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna become this uh, this hate draft of of uh, champions. Do I want to go Berserk? I do not, because I want to purchase Bushwhack. <clears throat> so you're safe from, from Berserk right now. <laughs> it'll it'll get it'll get recorded. I I got you. I got you, Mizu. I got you, Barry. Draw two. So here's what happens when you use the Berserk skill. Um, you get to draw two cards, and at the end of my turn, I'm going to lose four life. So I have to spend another two gold to calm down. Um, so, you know, there's that. Um, I can't let you have that. I don't really know if I want any of this other stuff. Um... I'll just grab a fire gem. Yeah, it, the timing sequence of uh, Barbarian is really neat because you can try to forecast when you're going to be able to draw those cards, right? So you're watching your draw deck, you're watching your discard, and the ability to, to draw into that stuff is pretty... Pretty cool. Um, I gotta take minstrels. I'll just take four damage. No big deal. Ooh, 
Ooh, Rune Resolve. Oh, this card's so good. 14 point swing. I love it. As with any Kickstarter, uh, I am living off coffee uh, right now. So, gotta stay energized. Oh, you got it. No, you got Rune. That's right. I can get the uh, Pack Dragon if I want to. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I don't know if I want to force you to discard right now or not. Oh, call actually. I'll leave it for now. I'm going to calm down on this next turn. Because uh, after this turn, I'm going to draw into five, which means my discard will reset and I'll draw into two two more cards. So I'm going to calm down on this next turn. I was also hoping to draw into bount the bounty, which will help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, I mean, I'm calming down on the app, not necessarily in real life. I gotta keep up with my five-year-old. One life? Goodness gracious. This isn't gonna go well. This is probably going to kill me, so whatever. <laughs> whatever. It's going to be close. I feel like I haven't even touched the cleric. I mean, I haven't. I haven't done that much damage at all. In this particular game, we are playing with the dungeons and original market deck, um, as you might have noticed with some of the cards that are in there. So um, you can see how how it works together. Uh, it's pretty great. Um, I don't think I can stay berserk and survive. Um, you know that is a tough decision. I'm definitely going to calm down, and then that's going to give me enough to still get... Uh, I don't think I have enough to trigger Moonbra, so I'll grab Crack, and then I will pass. <laughs> perfect! It was a perfect amount of damage. I just wanted to survive one more turn. Not that it was going to matter. Well played, Lila Fry. Good game. <laughs> oh, I was, I was living by a prayer there. I was holding on. Yeah, I definitely should have uh, burned Bounty for sure. That would have helped a lot. Alright, anybody else want to get a challenge up in here? Daily, I think you've know, got still got your challenge up, but I'm not sure you are here right now. Good game, JB. You can also send a challenge. I'm in the beta, so um, anybody else that wants to throw challenges, just throw them my way. Uh, like I said, I'll wait for Daily to get back, but until then, I'd love to get uh, another game in with Alchemist to show that off. So you are very good with cleric. I I don't think I've ever beaten you. Uh, so I mean that's you're. You're good, but I'm also very bad. <laughs> so I don't know how to assess that. 
Uh, all right, all right. There we go. Thanks for the challenges. We're gonna roll here with uh, Blue Fry again, and then we'll run into Barry. You'll be up next. Oh, I appreciate that, Barry. You're just trying not to stack your wins. <laughs> Uh, actually, that's also going to count. Leela Fry, you are... Let's see what the count is right now. So Leela Fry, that puts you at eight. Uh, eight wins for the contest that ends at the end of this month. Zimbu, you're up to ten. So, um, you know, got a decent, decent lead there. But it's kind of a quick update on, on where everything's at there. Elven Gift, yes, please. Uh, yes. Death threat, thank you. Now, like I said, I really appreciate everybody sending these challenges and, and for hanging out and, and showing this off. Uh, it really helps a lot. Here's Awaken the Dead. This is one of my favorite new cards in the set. It's just a big, beefy, awesome card with really cool sacrifice. The recursion of your champion and it's just like thematically really rich as well um but man this can be really really good late game it's, it's a great bomb big fan oh did you have that in the last game i didn't realize it, it's fun i really like it The other thing I want to do too is if there are certain matchups you want to see, um, let me know, right? I'm actually going to turn down the, the speed of things too, just in case people who are watching this have never played the digital. I feel like the speed might be a little too quick to follow up with. Um, Afterlife is pretty good. doesn't actually do that do anything yeah i guess it gave me some extra i'm gonna take a fire gym though i think we're early enough here in the game what is the red circle deal i don't know what they i am not sure how to answer that question barry Get me anything. Back. We're gonna sack the card from the end. We'll play this out. Oh, the thing I just did. Uh, sorry, it's the ability. This is Reflection. So I get to gain a combat for every card of the topmost faction in play. Essentially, like, whatever faction I have the most of in play, it gives me a, co a combat uh, for each of those. It was pretty sweet. Oh, and then I stacked a gold using the Dissolve ability of the Alchemist. So it's just a one-time use, sacrifice a card from your hand. Two, three, four. I'm just shy of goodness. I'm gonna have to just load up on fire gems to purchase some of this large row here. The race to the big stuff. <laughs> you were trying. <laughs> I see. I see what you're doing. You knew. I was like, why Why is Barry asking this question right now? Like, Barry knows what it is. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That was good. Here we go. Getting some big stuff. Let's go with... See, the turn that I make, seven gold, Death Touch comes out. I mean, I, I have to take Death Touch. Like, there's no question about that. 
And then I think I take Chrome. Like, it's another big, beefy card, but like, I was gonna take Rake with seven, but not in, not anymore. Get out of here, Tithe Priest. Go back to your home. <laughs> Barry needs me to win. I, do we have like like a little mentor here? Like you can give me a call and I'll put a little headphone in and you can tell me how to how to play. It'll kind of be like a, you know. I don't know if that's against the rules. Oh, there are no rules. So I guess we just make our own rules. Boo, stop making me discard. Don't like it. Yeah, I realized I should have drawn because I could have got a gold. That, that ended up working out okay, but it could have been bad if I didn't sequence that better. So yes, correct. That was a bad, a bad first play. Yep. Yeah, definitely. My health is low. You're right. I don't have any healing right now. Like, I mean, if there was something I could do to change my health, I, I would do it, but there's not. I am stuck. Uh, there's death. And of course, death touch, I draw, you know, when I have nothing in my discard pile, because that's going to be super helpful. <laughs> Oh, man. I like this card a lot, too. This new one. And lost. Well played, Lee the Fry. It's okay. One day I'm going to win one of these. Maybe. All right, Zimbu, you're up. And we're going to go Barbarian versus Barbarian. Because why not? Yeah, Kraka definitely probably. Yeah, you're right. Kraka is way better than the, the thug. Grave robbery, that's illegal. It's a new card though, I really like this one. I really like that card. Discard two cards. Well, okay. I'm also getting a grave robbery. I'm just gonna follow everything that, that you do, Barry. <laughs> uh, Silver, yeah, absolutely. Oops, sorry, I hit the microphone there. You're gonna wanna send a, an email to support. I'm gonna... Like, obviously you'll have to put that email together, but I just don't wanna put it in there that way. People don't, uh, you know, there's like bots that can fish for that type of thing. But, but anyways, support at wisewizardgames.com. Uh, go ahead and send an email there. I do know that if you purchased a um, Legends account, that they're going to start going through all of that and making sure that the back, like if you purchase it, you get your code and all of that stuff. So if you've not gotten your information, uh, Joel definitely can also help there. So sure Joel's on top of it and I can see that yeah drop the discord server because the discord is awesome for asking questions so definitely would 
jump in and, and be a part of that. Yep, and you can reach Joel on Discord. Yeah, for sure. How about some treasure hunters? Elf treasure hunters. It's a nice card. Hard to get rid of with a six, six body there. And of course, Barry takes it. That was rude. Yo, what up, Daily? All right, you're next. Daily, you are up next. I'm uh, currently getting beaten by Barry, so you know no, nothing. Nothing's new here. Yo, what up, Dusto? Name is Doctor Funk Twenty Seven. I'm gonna throw that in the chat and send a send a challenge that that way. Dusto, if you'd like to get a chance to play, go ahead and throw it in there. I'll play daily, and then uh, then we can rock a game. Uh, probably just those two though. Uh, we're coming up on the past uh, past hour mark here, so. Probably got some kiddos downstairs who are screaming for mac and cheese. Or something like that. What do I want? Um, hmm. Take this. Yeah, thanks for coming by, Flock. It's always fun to hang out and play play against you and like i said i'll be doing this again tomorrow so stop on by and get a couple more games in um and as always like if you're here watching the stream and you're like hey i'd really like to play against a certain deck throw it in the comments i you know or if there's a deck you want to see played or a, i should say character i say deck but a character throw it in the chat because I'll, I'll play whatever whatever you want like chat can decide what happens <laughs> you know Uh, Dusto, it is pretty freaking cool to have the digital uh, affecting the physical. I absolutely agree with that. It is pretty darn cool. Okay, daily. Void will rock with the uh, rock with the alchemist. This card always kind of kind of makes me laugh. Like this apprentice trap maker. Like, because is an apprentice? Has he ever like hurt himself? Like, well played, Barry. I was trying to trying to catch up. I was just not getting there. I was playing catch up that whole game. All right, daily. Here we go. Rockin. Uh, what level are you? You are a level twelve. Good. I get to use my level twelve alchemist. Let's rock and roll. Level 12 is where it's at. I mean, we'll technically go to level 14 now, but, you know, those high levels are, are where the game gets real, real fun. Hey, thanks for coming by, Barry. Stop by tomorrow for, for another game, right? I want some rematches.
Elven Curse. Boo. And you're going to get Spark. I don't like this start. At all. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. Danger. Danger. Yes, tomorrow's the same time, Flock. Uh, anytime I stream, I'm going to do the same time. 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, just keeps things easy across the board. Um... I'm also putting it out on the Kickstarter comments. So if you're wondering, hey, when am I going to be live streaming? You can take a look there. Um, but yeah, yeah, 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I don't really want that. Actually, uh, I'll just take a fire gem for now. Your cat lives another turn. Oh, don't worry about it, Daily. It's all good. I'm showing off the, the apprentice here, so no big deal. I thought it looked I thought it looked familiar. I was like, hmm. These look like all the old cards, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny, once you've played Dungeons so often, you don't really... I haven't really gone back and played the first set as much because I'm just... I'm really just testing and playing on the dungeon set. So, no, this is fine. This is fine. I love the Philosopher's Stone. It is so cool to have a wild ability off of a uh, faction. Uh, so, Slippy Fist. I'm actually Central Time too. Uh, but uh, Wise Wizard is headquartered on the East Coast, so I just live off Eastern time. But yeah, it's 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern. So I don't necessarily like using Eastern time <laughs> because it messes with everything for me, but that's just the way it is right now. take bribe just because I want to be able to activate deception. Oh my goodness and of course you're going to get another elven curse. Not cool. Not cool at all. This card always makes me laugh because like this assassin is clearly like second rate at best. Like you miss, you hit his leg. Like one shot, right? That's all, that's all you need for this hit job but you know, it's okay. Maybe he was just trying to, maybe he had to question him, right? Maybe he had to, you know, he had to interrogate him first. Yeah, maybe, you know, it could, you're right. Maybe it's part of a movie scene or he's just maybe making the guy wait longer than what he needs to, right? But I always thought that when I saw that card. Wow. Woo. Daily hitting, hitting hard and fast. No champions for you. <laughs> Psych, my hand is so bad. <laughs> That's what you get. Oh, man. For those watching, stick around. Uh, we're gonna have one more game coming up here with Dusto. So we'll get another game here for everyone to, to have the chance to watch. And Dusto, what do you wanna play against? I'll, I'll keep rocking the Alchemist. I know it's kind of like the hot new thing, right? 
So if you want me to play the Alchemist or I can play Barbarian, I really would prefer to play one of those two, obviously, because I want to showcase uh, dungeons. Okay, listen. I don't like what's happening here. So, we're going to do that. Oops. And then, we're just going to build it through here. Oh, I hit it. Do it again. Eh, whatever. I don't care. I got rid of that. One of the best things about the Alchemist is that because the Philosopher's Stones are in your hand, you don't really want to get rid of them because it allows you to build out a really flexible deck of like two to three colors because you can get those faction, those ally abilities a lot easier than you can in other builds. So I'll be honest with you. The Alchemist might end up being my favorite, like one of my favorite characters. Hey, what's up, Shaft Hunter? Good to see ya. Uh, Alchemist is not in beta yet. No. Hey, great game daily. And I hope that you stick around, uh, come back to, to get a rematch, because I, I want rematches with everybody that's kicking my butt right now. Uh, level three. Uh, this should down level, right? Did you select it down level? I mean, I'm going to try it and see. Okay, good. It did. It did down level. The Kickstarter is going really well. Uh, really, really awesome. Super stoked to see how far it's gotten. I haven't even checked it since I've been here streaming for the last hour. So let me actually go take a look because I'm curious. We are on the front page of Kickstarter, so that's pretty dope. Uh, we are currently at 239,000. We might break the single day record, which was made by... I want to say it was made by Frontiers. I think Frontiers had $250,000. Uh, so it looks like we have a real shot at breaking the single day funding record. So go tell your friends, let's break this record. That would be sweet. <laughs> Dusto, I think you did the same thing Daily did. Did you put the Dungeons cards in? Or is this just the basic, uh, I think this is just the first, the first set, right? Yeah, the shipping, of course, is, is rough. And I, especially when we look at rest of the world and, and bad and everything. So I, I absolutely, I feel for all of our, all of our fans across the world. It's, um, it's tough. I, I totally get that. I'm not sure, uh, also Dusto, to get back to your question about the Alchemist, if Joel is still in here, um, he might be able to um, answer like when Alchemist is gonna come to come to beta. It's all, it's no big deal, it's no big deal. I'll be back streaming again tomorrow. There'll be plenty of time to uh, to play. So if y'all are watching, come back tomorrow and we'll, we'll get those games in. Also, I can send challenges as well. So if you want, I can handle uh, sending those out as, um, as well, but usually just easier if y'all just challenge me. But yeah, just make sure you get that dungeons check mark. I think it probably does default though. Is there some dungeons action? I mean, using the alchemist is still great anyways, being able to show it off, no big deal. Okay, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna roll with lease. Oh, there's wild charge. All right, we're good. All right, there's wild charge. Boom. It's funny, we just had like all base starting cards in the market there at the beginning. Kind of funny how that happened. Yep. Thank you, Joel. Appreciate it. Like I said, we're continually working on the on the digital portion of the game. So, um, a lot of iterations back and forth. 
JB, what's up? All right, JB. I'll we'll get JB. You're the last challenge of tonight. Um, so stick around, JB, and you'll be the last challenge that will that will will roll with tonight. Yeah, so Dusto, I know that, um, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, why are you delaying? Like, because, you know, we wanted to, to launch this last fall, and then we were going to launch early January, and, you know, obviously that didn't happen. Um, and it really just goes back to the fact that, like, we're going to launch when we feel comfortable, when we're ready. And as part of this new structure we have with Kickstarter, like, we are coming to Kickstarter again when we feel more comfortable with uh, the timeline. So uh, I'm really happy with where we're at and where we're going. Um, and I think that it's going to be better for everybody involved, backers and, and everything. So, you know, just going through some growing pains right now and getting through, of course, our significant delays on other projects. Um, but it's it we're moving and we're getting there. Uh, we're just asking our fans to to stick with us and have our backs here because we want to do the best we can um, for, for y'all, so. Yeah, we, you know, we really, quality is a big thing um, for the company. Rob, Rob has always put quality before quantity, right? Um, and we have no, no issues with saying, hey, we, we need more time here because ultimately you've paid for a product and we're not going to send you a product that we ourselves would not want to own um, and or, or you know, anything like that. So it's just, just the way it works sometimes. Okay, I got to figure out what I want to do here. Um, I don't, I think I'm just going to go damage here. Ooh, JB, what'd you get for dinner? I'm hungry. You're probably gonna make me hungry for whatever you said. <laughs> Wings. Yep, that sounds delicious. Oh no, firebomb. Do not like. Do not like. Can we just like rewind real quick? Just I'm gonna use my dev powers right now and just completely dislike that. Down vote. Um, I also want to make this green for wild. Do not like. Um, This has been really fun, though. I'm really glad that everybody's been here to hang out and uh, and uh, challenge and, and, and hang out. Tonight. I really enjoy doing this. Oh, you got Screet. I was like, I thought somebody took Screet. I was like, it was right there. And this is where I die. <laughs> this is where I lose. <laughs> Three life. I don't have any way of gaining life in this deck. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, maxing out stretch goals is pretty good, I hear, you know? <laughs> Y'all just want more more stuff. You want all these free, free promos. I'm right there with you. Let's make them all, you know? That means more cool stuff for all of it, for everybody. Well played, Dusto. Good game. <laughs> Daily, we will definitely get a rematch. Um, I hope you'll stick around. Uh, JB, what happened to our... Did you cancel it? 
I thought it was right there. Uh, let me do a challenge. I think it's this, yeah? It is weird. Uh, I think you should have gotten it. Oh, you gotta challenge me. Okay, we'll send the challenge again. Let me cancel this then. And see if it goes through. Ah, uh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, just accept whatever you can, uh, or send whatever you can, I guess. There we go. And this should, yeah, here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the final match of the evening. Again, don't fret. I'll be back tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern time. So if you want to hang out. Oh, we're doing a real time. Oh, JB, you got me, got me thinking on my feet right now. Oh boy, now I'm, now I'm nervous. Goodness, what am I gonna do? But on the surface, I look calm and ready. <laughs> now I'll get to win one. I, you know what, JB? I appreciate the 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 help, but that's not necessarily the case. Oh, here we go. Rat Swarm. I love this card. This card is so much fun. Just super, super sweet. Oh, I got it. I got it. Still working on the barb. Yeah, so the barbarian also is going to feel kind of like the ranger, right? Which I'm terrible with the ranger, but it's all about that sequencing of flipping back and forth. Um, and it definitely takes some time. I'm, I'm not good at it yet. Uh, I'm assuming it timed out because it was a real-time match, not a 48-hour. Probably what ended up happening. No, oh, no, I wanted rats of war. Curses. Uh, two, three, four, that's fine. Oh man, I don't know what to take here. I, uh, I'll go here. <laughs> you didn't realize it was real time. That's why I thought, yeah. I was like, oh man, that's why I was so nervous. That's a good one too. I like this card. So much damage. No, rat swarm. Oh my, are you gonna kill me the one this fa this quickly? That's 17, 20, almost. Woo, buddy. Woo, buddy. Yeah, almost.
<laughs> to pack rat swarm. Oh man, that is brutal, brutal. Boom. <laughs> JB, you had my hopes up. You had me already, and then all of a sudden, boom. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. That was quick. Well played. I'm going to get revenge tomorrow. <laughs> I hope you come back tomorrow to live stream. Thank you so much. If you've not subscribed to our Twitch channel, please do that. You'll get notifications when we go live, and you'll know what we're doing we do star realms we do hero realms we have our wizard weekly so if you're a fan of our stuff it'd be really helpful to get those notifications um as i mentioned i'll be live again tomorrow at 5 p.m eastern 4 p.m central 2 p.m pacific if you're in europe australia you gotta do that time conversion because i can't do it that quick anyways thank you so much for being here and uh we'll see you over on the kickstarter until next time see ya.